What's up guys, Justin here from justicegood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a glitchy TV color effect in Photoshop. Now this is actually a pretty simple effect to do, but it's going to be done in a window that you might not usually work in, and that's the channels window. If you don't see that window, you can head over to the window channels panel right there and it should pull up. So here you can see Photoshop lets us work on either the red, green, or blue color channel. So if you know a little bit about color theory, you know that you can mix all those colors to make any color if you're working in red, green, blue color mode, which you usually are. So we're going to go ahead and work on the red color channel first. So we're just going to select it. And then if you go over to Filter, Distort, Shear, if we add a little bit of distortion here, it'll allow us to kind of split the channels, kind of similar to how a TV gets all wavy. So I'm going to add a few points here and just kind of make a little bit of a wave. And then for the undefined areas, I'm going to use repeat edge pixels. So go ahead and select OK, and you can see that you've already got that kind of red and blue 3D look going on. But if you want to take it one step further, we can go over to the green color channel and then go to filter, distort, shear one more time and then kind of just make a slightly different wave so go ahead and select ok and now you can see we've split all three color channels so they're each kind of popping out separately and created that glitchy tv color effect so if we head over to our layers panel one more time here you can edit any finishing touches like going to i'll go to filter noise and i'll add a little bit of noise to add a finishing touch. So I'll just do 10% at Gaussian distribution and then select OK. And then I'll actually go to Edit, Fade, Add Noise, and I'll fade that last filter we just did to about 50%. So there you have it. You can add any finishing touches you want, but it's a pretty simple technique to have in your arsenal for if you ever want to make anything like this. But all in all, it's a pretty simple trick. Um, it's a cool photo effect by itself, and I hope you enjoyed it.